So we reached the 90s today in Lincoln. 92 is what's going to go on the books, but everybody else stuck in the 80s. 89 the high in Beatrice, 87 in Wahoo, 86 in Columbus, 89 in Grand Island and Kearney, 87 the high in Hastings, 82 the cool spot in York. So Lincoln yet again is one of the hot spots on the map. Even right now, 79 the current air temperature at Lincoln Airport, 74 in Beatrice, 72 in York, 70 degrees in Aurora. So eventually we'll see uh, these temperatures drop into the lower and middle 70s, probably within the next couple of hours. And then eventually we drop into the 60s. 62 is our overnight low. Yeah, that'll feel nice. Satellite and radar imagery right now. Mostly clear skies across all of southeast Nebraska. In fact, you're hard pressed to see anything at all. We were watching some shower and thunderstorm activity uh, earlier on in the night in the southwest corner of the state. That fizzled out pretty quickly. And then there was some activity in Cherry County and in north central Nebraska that tried to drift off towards the southeast but was pretty unsuccessful in surviving. Right now we're just left with a couple of remnant clouds. Stormcast doing a very good job of showing what's going on. You just see a couple of these remnant clouds and they just fizzle out going into the overnight hours. Uh, Eastern Nebraska, we have clear skies overnight tonight. In fact, I think at many points we won't have any cloud coverage at all. That's probably what we're going to see on Wednesday too, with the exception of central Nebraska out towards Broken Bow, maybe Greeley Ord, uh, maybe to the south of O'Neill and Ainsworth may see a batch of shower activity develop. Maybe a few lightning strikes with this, not likely looking at a lot of strong activity, but this too will also have a hard time moving off towards the south. A couple of remnant clouds, but that's just about it. Tri-Cities, I don't think we'll see any rainfall from this and definitely not eastern Nebraska. Lincoln will stay bone dry for the day tomorrow. Uh, in fact, we may get through the day with wall to wall sunshine at every point in the day. 62 degrees are forecast low in Lincoln tonight. Winds on the lighter side. Uh, tomorrow winds out of the south and southeast three to six miles per hour. So winds really not overly strong tomorrow either. Lincoln's probably going to be the warm spot. Once again, 94 degrees are forecast high, but several other locations may top out in the lower 90s. We're saying 90 degrees in Hebron and Fairbury, 91 Beatrice, 92 out for the the Tri Cities. Looking forward into the weekend, we've got a hot dome that is going to be building into the area, and our temperatures are going to continue to be hot as a result of the hot dome influencing our weather pattern. Probably going to be at our hottest going in towards the weekend, and here's what we're talking about 99 for a forecast high on Saturday, a very warm day. Now, the humidity may not be as high as we've seen in recent weeks, so uh, granted, this is still warm, nevertheless, it'll still be hot on Saturday, but the humidity will likely be just be a tad lower, so not quite as oppressive compared to previous previous heat waves. 97 on Sunday, just another warm day. Uh, in fact, the precipitation potential through the weekend, not all that great. This version of Stormcast throwing a couple hundredths of an inch in the picture, but this is certainly not set in stone. You get the idea. Rain chances are not that great over the next seven days. And in fact, over the next seven days, the evapotranspiration or how much moisture is coming out of the soil. This is the forecast under two inches in Lincoln. So 1.82 inches forecast to come out of the soils. And if we don't get any rainfall, this is what we are are losing. Here's a look at our 10 day forecast. You see the dry stretch of days ahead. 94 on Wednesday, 95 on Thursday, 96 on Friday, and then there's those higher temperatures going into the weekend. However, next week temperatures start to cool off a little bit. Maybe a couple more rain chances starting to enter the picture. So if we have to eyeball our next potential rainmaker, that's what I'm thinking or when I'm thinking that we will see that.